Would you rather have Brady or Mahomes for a one game win or go home situation? I'm taking my home boy. Yeah, he's better than Brady. Pat Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback I've ever seen. Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady, two of the most skilled quarterbacks the game has ever seen. Both truly incredible. But does Patrick Mahomes deserve the right to be put on the top of the list next to Brady? Or should this even be a debate? I'm going to take both sides of the Brady vs. Mahomes debate and give the best reasoning for each guy. And after I talk about each QB, you tell me who's better. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot. Let's start with Tom Brady. TP12 has seven Super Bowl rings, the most by any player and more than any franchise has. That is truly remarkable. For one man to have more rings in 32 NFL franchises simply doesn't make sense. Brady won six with the Pats and one with the Bucks, and won five Super Bowl MVPs, most by any player. And Brady won all of his rings in three different decades, three in the 2000s, three in the 2010s, and one in the 2020s. This right here just goes to show how freaking dominant he was. To be able to play at such a high level for so long is crazy. Just imagine what Brady did is exactly like what LeBron James does, but Brady just won a lot more. It's not that easy to win in the NFL and Brady made it seem like it actually was. Tom went to 10 Super Bowls and 14 conference championship games in 23 seasons. Brady made the title game 50% of the time. That's absolutely insane. Saying 50% of the time is an understatement. It was almost a given that the Pats would be there every single year, even if they didn't even make it. You knew they could just because of Tom Brady. It didn't matter what his team looked like in a regular season, but come playoff time, he just flipped the switch. Tom's record in the playoffs was an astounding 35 and 13. Those 35 wins are more than 13 franchises have total. A 72% win percentage in the playoffs alone. Now let's rattle off some crazy Brady playoff stats. Tom has played in 18% of the Super Bowls. There's been three quarterbacks to play in the Super Bowl at the age of 40 plus. Tom's all three. He has nearly twice as many postseason passing touchdowns than any other player. And lastly, he's a Super Bowl all-time leader in completions, yards, and touchdowns, and it's not even close. Now, before we go into the regular season stuff, I just want to talk about the Bucks Super Bowl run. To leave a team after 20 seasons and six Super Bowl wins takes guts. Just take a chance and an all right Tampa Bay Buccaneers team is wild. But as we know, Tom proved the doubters wrong. Tom went to the NFC Championship in his first year. He went to the Super Bowl by beating Aaron Rodgers, who was the MVP at Lambeau Field in the NFC Championship game. Then went on to beat the defending Super Bowl champions in the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. That's crazy. That's one thing for Mahomes fans that it's hard to say if Mahomes could be better than Brady because he beat him in the Super Bowl and the AFC Championship. That's like saying if MJ played LeBron in the finals and lost, we would all say LeBron is the GOAT. Now, let's get to the regular season. Tom Brady leads the NFL in all-time passing yards at 89,213, and the second closest is 80,000. The gap is crazy. TB12 is the only QB to even hit the 600 mark for passing touchdowns, and he sits at 649. He leads the NFL in completions as well at 7,753, 600 more than Drew Brees, who's in second. So those are just some of Brady's regular season statistics that just go to show how dominant and efficient he really was. Tom finished his career with three MVPs, which puts him third all time. It's kind of surprising he didn't win more, to be honest. When we talk about Brady, the thing we will always remember is the rings. It's what we do with any all time great in any sport. So after breaking down Tom's side, the seven rings is definitely the most important part. Now let's get to Patrick Mahomes. And remember what I said, I'm supporting both sides of the argument. The fact that I'm even making this video comparing the two, I think that gives Mahomes the right to be entertained in this debate, but I'll still break it down. First, let's talk playoffs. Patrick Mahomes already has four Super Bowl appearances in six years as a starter and two rings, looking for his third. To be that dominant out of the gate is insane. Mahomes has appeared in six straight AFC title games, hasn't missed one since being named a starter. It's just like Brady, it's almost a given that Mahomes will be there. Patrick Mahomes has a pass rating of 106.3 with 4,802 yards, 39 touchdowns, 7 interceptions in 17 games in the playoffs in his career. That 4K yards already puts Mahomes at the ninth spot for passing playoff yards in only 6 years. In only 6 years to jump guys like Dan Marino, Kurt Warner, and Terry Bradshaw is remarkable. Mahomes is 6th in playoff passing touchdowns and only sits 1 TD away from Peyton Manning. Mahomes has surpassed Brady for wins by a quarterback in the postseason 
at 13 before turning the age of 30. He's a 14-3 record in the postseason already. But two of those losses are to Brady. To have this much success in a short time, to me, it feels like we're not really appreciating Mahomes enough. It's truly remarkable to watch the things he's accomplishing. Patrick Mahomes has powered the NFL's all-time postseason receptions leader in Travis Kelsey. And they surpassed Brady and Gronk, who had the record for most postseason touchdowns scored by a QB and receiver duo. And it only took them six seasons to accomplish this feat. Now, I want to talk about the last two years for Patrick Mahomes. Last season, nobody expected the Chiefs to go back to the Super Bowl because they lost Tyree Kill. But Mahomes proved he didn't even need Tyree Kill to have a ton of success. Mahomes went out and won the MVP and went back to the Super Bowl with a mid-receiving core and won the Super Bowl, proving everyone wrong. Now, this season, going into the playoffs, most people picked against him in the divisional round and AFC Championship game simply because their teams didn't stack up well to the Bills and the Ravens. So, Mahomes went into Buffalo where people questioned if Mahomes could win in a true road environment, and he did, knocking off Josh Allen to take out the first seeded Ravens and MVP frontrunner Lamar Jackson to earn his second straight Super Bowl appearance. Patrick Mahomes just keeps on proving people wrong. Now, let's get to the regular season. Mahomes sits first in the NFL's all-time passing yards per game at 296 yards per game. Mahomes is the third QB to win two MVPs before turning the age of 28. Only Mahomes, Brady, and Montana have two Super Bowl MVPs and two regular season MVPs. And keep in mind, Mahomes has only been in the league for seven years, six as a starter. Mahomes' record in his career is 74-22. and 22. That would technically be the greatest win percentage of all time, but the all-time win percentage is based off a minimum of 200 games played. That's my argument for the Mahomes side of the debate. Last thing I want to do is compare Mahomes' first six seasons as a starter to Brady's first six years as a starter. Okay, first thing, career record. Mahomes is 74-22, and 22, Brady is 70-24. and 24. Playoff record. Mahomes is 14 and 3. Brady's was 12 and 2. AFC titles. Mahomes 4. Brady 3. Touchdown to interception ratio. Mahomes 258 touchdowns to 69 interceptions. Brady 167 touchdowns to 87 interceptions. QB rating. Mahomes 103.7. Brady 88.4. So take that information with what you will. That's all I got for you. So let me know if you think Patrick Mahomes could go down as the GOAT or if he already is. See you in the next one. Peace. Yeah, I'll stop yapping. I've been talking for two minutes. It's fine. Um, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. No shocker there. Uh, simply just because Patrick Mahomes is going against uh, all the hate like he has been this whole playoff run. And I think once again, he will prevail against another top quarterback in the league. I know he's shorthanded like his receiving core, but they've been playing well. Uh, MVS has been playing great. Kelsey, of course, always shows up in the playoffs.